Whether it's with your partner, friends or family, relationships are a huge part of our lives. But lately, it seems like more and more of them are turning toxic. Or has it been like this for a long time, but we're only realizing it now? First off, let's define what we mean by toxic. A toxic relationship is one where there's a lot of negativity, manipulation and unhealthy behavior going on. It's like a dark cloud hanging over your head, making you feel drained and unhappy. So why are there so many relationships like this these days? Let's break down a few common reasons. The wrong blueprint. Think about your own upbringing for a moment. What kind of environment did you grow up in? What kind of relationship did your parents have? How did your family treat you? Our childhood experiences have a profound impact on how we view relationships as adults, whether or not we realize it. You see, our family members are like the architects of our emotional blueprint. We learn from their example what love, respect, and communication should look like. So if you grew up with any unhealthy dynamics in your family, say for example, frequent shouting and yelling, or a lack of emotional support, you might unintentionally replicate those behaviors in your own relationships. All about attachment. Ever heard of attachment theory? It's the idea that our early experiences with caregivers shape our attachment styles, which in turn affect how we relate to others later in life. If you have a secure attachment, you're more likely to feel comfortable with intimacy and trust in relationships. But if you have an anxious attachment, you're prone to constantly seeking reassurance from your partners. You might find yourself feeling clingy or needy because you have a strong fear of abandonment or rejection, something you likely experienced from your parents. Then there's avoidant attachment. It's when you find it hard to rely on others or open up emotionally in relationships. You might push people away to protect yourself from getting hurt and think it's always better to leave before you're left. A common reason for this is if your parents were emotionally distant or ignored your needs growing up. Communication breakdown. Whenever there was a problem, how did your family deal with it? Did you feel comfortable enough to open up to your family about your true feelings and struggles? Or were you ashamed for crying or told to just sweep it all under the rug? Did you grow up feeling like you had to lie or keep secrets from your own parents? Effective communication is key to healthy relationships, but many of us didn't learn those skills growing up, leaving us unsure how to express our needs and feelings in a constructive way. Without clear communication, misunderstandings and resentment can fester, turning a relationship toxic. A lack of accountability. In a toxic household, there's often a lack of accountability. Instead of working together to solve problems, family members resort to pointing fingers and deflecting blame. It's a frustrating cycle that leaves everyone feeling misunderstood and unheard. Maybe you've experienced this firsthand. Watching your parents engage in endless cycles of blame shifting and playing the victim where no one takes responsibility for their actions. Growing up in this environment can normalize these bad habits. And while forgiveness is important, it shouldn't come at the expense of allowing toxic behavior to continue. Familiarity breeds comfort. It's human nature to fear change and uncertainty, even if we know it's best for us. If you've had negative past experiences, like rejection, abandonment, or emotional neglect, it may cause you to gravitate towards relationships that feel safe but ultimately perpetuate the same toxic patterns. It's like staying on a sinking ship. You're trying to convince yourself everything's fine, but deep down, you know it's time to go. If any of this resonates with you, know that you're not alone. Many of us have been impacted by our past experiences, and it's okay to acknowledge that. But it's also important to recognize that we have the power to change the narrative. Remember, you deserve love and respect in your relationships. With self-awareness, healing, and a willingness to grow, you can break free from the cycle of toxicity and create the fulfilling connections you deserve. So, do you have any insights of your own about why so many relationships today seem to be toxic? We'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. And if you're interested in diving deeper into this topic, check out our other videos on six signs your trauma is making you lonely, and do you love them or just attached? 
Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful mental health content. Thanks for watching.